Well, it seems like every day we hear more and more about another racial slur, another racist act that's going on, and here we go again. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Bofina One, bringing you guys in another YouTube video. And today, I want to talk to you guys about the whole situation that happened um, with a lawyer basically spazzing out at a restaurant because some of the workers there were speaking Spanish. Um, so let's roll a little bit of the clip, shall we? The client said your yeah, staff yeah. is speaking Spanish to customers when they should no, be speaking. Very violent. I mean, he's sometimes very violent. they do. Very yeah. 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 Every person I listen to, he spoke it, he spoke it, she's speaking it. It's America. They, they, yeah. You're, you're, yeah. You're, yeah. He's, 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 he's very ignorant. He's very ignorant. He's fucked up. He's very ignorant. And he should, shouldn't be allowed. Because I will be following up. And my guess is they're not documented. So my next call is to ICE to have each one of them kicked out of my country. If they have the balls to come here and live off of my money, I pay for their welfare, I pay for their ability to be here. The least, the least they can do, the least they can do is speak it. You would say we're running a place in Midtown Manhattan, the staff should be speaking English, not Spanish. Because the people like you are nations. Honey, I'm calling ICE. Call ICE. ICE. Maybe you shouldn't eat that sandwich today. Take a break from the food. Maybe you should get hit by the car, you piece of shit. And so in this video, you can see the guy is 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 kind of like going over the top, right? So he's mad because this person or the people that work at this company or the restaurant are speaking Spanish. And so he's going off saying, oh, you know, this is America. You need to know the language of America. You know, you don't need to be speaking Spanish and how, you know, I pay all this money for them to be on welfare and for yada, yada, this, yada, yada, that, and the third. And then he's just going off literally about um, how he feels that, you know, oh, I'm gonna call ICE, and I believe ICE is something, you know, that has to do with, you know, people that are illegally in the United States, and, you know, and, and then it's like, it's just crazy, because he's just going off, I don't know if it's the manager, or if it's another customer, I mean, not customer, I mean, uh, worker, and he's just going off, like, just blatantly just bashing them, and, and to me, it's like, you're a lawyer, <laughs> you know what I mean, like, you're, you are a lawyer, out of all the people, you should know better, you know what I mean? Like, out of all the people, you should know that people have the freedom of speech, people have the freedom to do whatever the heck they want to do. And why wouldn't you want people from other countries coming in to, to the United States? Because I don't know about you, but when I've applied for jobs, a lot of the questions are, like, one of the, one of the most, I guess you could say, frequent questions that I see a lot is... Do you speak another language? Are you fluent in something else other than English? Because in a lot of companies, they want people that can talk to people in different com in different countries. You know, because that makes your company more valuable. That makes you a valuable candidate when you're when you are applying for jobs. And at the same time, you may have somebody that say, "Let's." They came from Mexico and then they come to the United States, right? Their first language is Spanish. Same how a lot of people that grew up in the U.S. first language is English. So they come here. They may know a little bit of English. But it's not like a whole lot necessary to communicate well enough with. So, you know, they're still learning English. So it's good to have someone that can translate because you're looking like this. That's a sale. I don't know what's what like restaurant, wherever they were at, but that's a sale. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if I can't understand what you're talking about, I'm going to your restaurant, right? I don't know what the heck you're talking about. I'm not going to buy your stuff because I don't even know what I'm even buying. Where I'm at your store, let's say I'm still learning the, the, the number one language in this country. And then let's say someone else is able to translate it for me. Oh, okay. I get what you're talking about. I'm more likely to buy your product. So to me, it just shows that that dude is a flat out racist. Um, and it's just sick because he's a lawyer too. You know, it's like you are a lawyer. Like, like, I don't get that. Like you out of all the people should know. It, it's just, it's sickening. And people can say what they want. I don't care. I always feel like because of Donald Trump being the president of the United States and he's an open racist, I feel like that makes it so people feel like they can do the same thing. Because it's like, you know, it's almost like, like, and I hate, I'm not trying to go into race, I'm saying it's almost like when Obama was, was president, right? He was the first black president, you know, ever, right? So that made people, I feel like, especially African Americans, feel like, oh, well, if a black person get into the office, you know, I can too. I can do that. Like, it was a positive thing. And see, because Trump is the president, the president of the United States is still looked at as like the number one figure, he's a racist. So it, it kind of comes off like, oh, well, if he's a racist, then I can be openly racist too. And I feel like that's what's been going on a lot within the United States just as a whole. And that's what I keep trying to tell people, like, 
Like, this is stuff these people been feeling. This is stuff people been feeling, to be honest. Like, like people think, oh my God, why is this acting? People been feeling this. People just had to suppress their feelings because of how America was and all that stuff. And now that, you know, Donald Trump is in the office and he's open about it, people feel like they can be open as well. Have you ever noticed ever since he became, got in office, like, people are more vicious on the internet. People are more, um, you know, uh, just whatever. Like, I literally got a comment the other day about someone saying, I like blocked him, whatever, you know, saying like, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna dislike this video because you're a, you know, the N-word, you know? So it's like, people are more, I feel like, open about that kind of stuff because of who we have in office. And that's just my opinion. I thought this was wrong on all levels. Um, it, it's sick, you know, it's just like, you're really that mad about that? Like, you're really that mad? And, like, you don't even know that's the name of people speaking Spanish. You don't even know. Like, they could have, like, it's just, it's like, it's like, it's the assumption. Like, you don't even know. Them people could have been born in the United States and they just know how to speak Spanish. Maybe their parents speak. Like, like you don't know these people's backgrounds. Like, you're making an assumption that, oh, they're illegal immigrants work. You know, it's like, like, I don't know. It just, it was just kind of sad. And that, and that seems to be happening so often like so far so frequently now so i don't know guys um i'd love to have discussion about this down below in the comment section uh let me know your thoughts you guys think this guy was right do you think he was wrong do you think it's like like why are you making a big deal about it so let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section as always guys if you enjoyed the video be sure to drop a like comment share and subscribe hope you guys have a good rest of your day and i'll talk to you later peace fin army